Okay, so what we've got, what we're going to do here is we're going to create a program that will demonstrate how we can use an array to store values and then how we can go through that array again in order to process it in some way. So for example, this program is going to ask a user to enter the daily rainfall for seven days. It's then going to display the rainfall for each day. So let's just test if the program works first of all. So we're just going to, um, oh that should really be, let's just settle for whole numbers here. So what we're going to say is ask them to put in, so if we just say it was three and then six and then one, it's a very dry day. We've got our seven values here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. However, what we want to do is we want to display the total. Now what we could do is we could use a whole other loop here and we can make a variable called total and we could say that total equals whatever total was and we're going to add it. So for example what we actually want to do is we actually want to add it to well, well add to it sorry whatever is in daily rainfall and then zero and then one and then two and then three and then four and then five and then six and then after that we're going to print the total rainfall for the week was and we'll just put the num we'll just display the number on screen so if we run this program and one two three four five six seven now the total rain for the week was, now we have not yet displayed the variable there, so what we want to do there is we want to display the variable called total. So again if we just rerun that program there, we'll get one, two, three. The total rain for the week, now seven, six is thirteen, five is eighteen, eighteen, four is twenty-two, plus three is twenty-five, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. So, so far it is working. But that's not incredibly efficient to go through an array twice. So what we're going to say is that we'll just say the total is zero at the start, and that's fine. You'll notice we've got the same loop twice. So what we could do is we could grab this line of code here, which is creating the running total, and we can put it inside this loop here, and we can get rid of that one there. Now this program becomes a little bit more efficient as we're only going through the array once. And we're just going to run this program again with much and such the same data just to check that it is in fact still functioning. So what we're doing is we're using total as a running a running total. So that it starts off at zero and every time we're adding something to the array we're adding it to this running total. We can say that this chunk of code here is traversing the array, it's going through it and it's adding things one at a time and creating this running total. Now what we're going to do is just adapt our program here slightly because sometimes you may want to for example create an average. So if you think about an average it's literally adding up all of the values and dividing by the number of numbers. So what we're going to do here is we have the running total so we've added all the values together so if we want to create an average rainfall, all we would need to do is divide this running total by the number of values, which we actually know is 7. So what we can actually say here is that the average rainfall is whatever the total is divided by 7. Now if we didn't want to say 7, if we wanted to just count out how many values, say that for example the program was adapted to take in a whole month's worth of data, what we could say is that divide it by the length of the array called daily rainfall. And just close that bracket. And if we display not only the total, so if I just copy and paste that line, so I'll print the total and average. And what we can say is the average for the week is not total, but it's saying this thing called average rainfall. So if we just run this program here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the average was twenty-eight, so divide it by seven, and th that is the correct answer. So what we've done is we've traversed the array, we've kept the running total, and we've actually used that total 
to create an average.